Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and I am joined here with two of my girlfriends, Angie and Nicole. First of all, how you ladies doing this today? <laughs> Great. I'm good. I, I went on a good car ride yesterday. I love it. Two hours to Augusta, stopped in Evans, two hours back. It was a beautiful sky. Right when I got back into Athens, it started storming. <laughs> I was like, you're like, damn, oh. here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Time. And the last stop that I went, you know, a potty break at Crystal and the girl there, she was like, you better get get on home. It's about to start storming. I'm like, what? It has been beautiful. Like all I, I don't even know how I made it to Augusta and back because I was looking at the sky the whole time, just looking at looking for ships. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It looked like a bunch of cloaked ships everywhere. I took some pictures. That's Probably so like Southern to stop into the Crystal. <laughs> The crystal, it's crystals a drive through we have here and be like, honey, you need to get on home. It's about to start. You need to drive safely. <laughs> so, and I'm, I've realized I missed the white menu, but the, or the white memo. both of you wear, are wearing white today. That's okay. Okay. I know my, my editor said, can you take some pictures with the shirt that doesn't have any printing on it? And like, you know, like she had all this stuff. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Actually, speaking of, I, before we get into the subject at hand, I had a viewer ask me a question. I'll just go ahead and address this right now. I had somebody ask me about my cut t-shirts. I have done a video on how to cut t-shirts before, speaking of printed t-shirts. But if you guys want me to do a quick video on how to cut your t-shirts, um, <laughs> you let me know in the comment section below and I will do a quick little video to show you guys how to cut t-shirts. I actually have been thinking about doing some esoteric Atlanta merchandise and actually offering cut t-shirts on my website because people get nervous to cut. And so I'm like, when you first start cutting your t-shirts, just get a bunch of shitty t-shirts that you don't care about and, and just play with those. But yes, if that's something you guys want me to address again, I, I did a video a while ago because I got a lot of people commenting. Um, just let me know in the comment section below. We can totally make that happen. We can have fun with that because the topic yeah. we're going to talk about today yeah. isn't really fun, but it's very interesting. So uh, Angie, before we get into it, do you, I saw you had your fickle pickle t-shirt. Is well, there <laughs> It's funny. I've had this out for a while. It's a size medium. It's tiny. Look, if I try to even like <laughs> just see whatever, so bad. But I'm thinking since Bryce is such a little skinny thing that I'm going to send this to you and you can cut it. Girl, okay. I'll, I'll gladly do it. But girl, listen, my secret, I never buy female shirts. I always buy them for the men's department. I buy small t-shirts from the men's department to be baggy. Okay. So that's my secret with t-shirts for the girls. Uh. Yes. You know yeah. what? Because you go to the store now, and I'm sorry, maybe it's my age, maybe it's being in my 40s now, but it's like now the t shirts only come up to like here, and there's a demographic of us that actually want the whole t shirt. So, yes, yeah, yes. it's I'm not, you know, anyway, but but yes, yeah, send me that shirt, I will cut it for you totally, Angie. And I'm going to be putting Angie's, um, I know Angie. We're going to be promoting your business more coming up in the future. I'm going to be putting a link to Angie's Fickle Chicka website down <laughs> below, you guys. And if you joined us on Enough is Enough on Thursday nights, uh, Angie popped in yesterday because we were talking about the dosha system. And we're going to continue to talk about that next week on that show as well, the dosha system. And Angie is actually creating recipes on her channel that are dosha specific. So um, so make sure you check out um, pickling stuff. That's great. Like fickle like the pickles that you make go that's a perfect snack food for kappa that's a perfect 
perfect snack food. And if you order from Angie, you're ordering from a a great company that isn't using the shit they mm -hmm. use in the big, you know, uh, I'm not going to say too much because, you know, the power is up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But you guys, so it's, and you're also helping out a small business, which we love our small businesses. So, um, so yes. Well, so thank you. And we're going to be putting more and more and more up with Angie's business because we, it's, it's a great business and she's doing wonderful things and she's a, a good person, unlike the people we're going to be speaking about in this episode. <laughs> and Angie is not, she is not an organic portal. <laughs> so she's the we're, full deal. She's the full deal. <laughs> <laughs> She's a real deal. So I guess like, I, I don't even, okay. So I want to start by saying this concept of organic portals might be shocking to a lot of people. It might be uh, liberating to some people. We were saying that before we started filming, uh, but it's definitely something that I was not familiar with. Or I didn't know anything about until recently. And it was brought up on a Cassiopeian board, which my next guest for part two is going to be going through the Cassiopeian board and giving their perspective, which if you don't know who the Cassiopeians are, I will let him explain that because he's more of an expert on that than I am. Um, so I just, there are a couple of things I want to say that we know for sure about organic portals before we get into our discussion. Organic portals are 50% of the human population. 50%. They are considered by the Cassiopeians to be pre-Adamic beings. So they're not new souls. They're actually very, very old beings. Um, and we're, I want to talk, I want to, I want to get into that discussion a uh, little, little later on deeper into the pre-Adamic stuff, because as you know, this is all a discussion guys, we are still learning. The three of us are still learning about this ourselves. Um, they are human beings or they appear to be human beings. You could be married to one. You could be best friends with one who the Cassiopeians call um, those of us who are not organic portals. We are considered sold beings. And what I'm saying is sold as an as an S O U L E D as your soul. Like you are solid in your soul. Okay. Grounded, grounded in your soul, grounded in your soul. You have a higher self. You have a soul contract. Organic portals, however, do have tiny little itty bitty souls, but they, we call it the, the micro, the wiener, the micro. <laughs> I'm trying to make light of it. I know you're reading the same thing. <laughs> Rather unfortunate. No. <laughs> micro <laughs> Rather unfortunate. Um, they are micro souls, uh, but they do not have higher selves. They do not have soul contracts. They uh, are lacking their upper four chakras. So all that they have are Muladhara to Manipura, the first three. They do not have Anahata all the way up. Doesn't exist on them. With that being said, Organic portals typically don't have free will. They are put here on this planet to be controlled <laughs> by fourth density negative beings. And I hate to have to even say negative beings because any being higher than us that's going to control is always going to be negative because the good side always respects free will, right? So organic portals are not new souls. They're, they're pre-Adamic. They're very old, a very old species. We're going to go through some of the personality traits of an organic portal. They, so they're, they're being controlled by the fourth density negative beings, the same negative beings that the bad guys worship. Um, and they don't know that they're being controlled they have no, but they also don't have emotion in the sense that we have emotion because they don't have an emotional center and you have to have an emotional center in order to evolve. They learn how to fake emotion. Now I'm going to go ahead and say this in case we forget to mention this and um, we get questions in the comment section. They're not necessarily psychopaths. The guest tomorrow, we can talk about this more, but he's going to go more into this too. Our narcissists, they might have psychopath. A psychopath can be an organic portal. But an organic portal doesn't necessarily qualify as a psychopath. Right. Right. 
So um, where do you guys want to take it from there to, uh, with our discussion? I know you've got a list, Nicole. You've been researching this. Yeah. Sorry, real quick, y'all. My owl just came. <laughs> I don't think he, he just came right here to my tree right here. Oh, <laughs> and started hooting right at the time you said a certain thing that just kind of maybe it's gave, a God wink. Yeah, gave me. Um, well, that's actually thank you, Al. That's something information. I that's something I forgot to say. That I think we need to say the more you ascend, the higher in vibration you get as a sold S O U L E D person. The more organic portals you are going to attract, and they come into your lives to wreak havoc they also because they don't have their upper four chakras they mimic you they can't create anything on their own because why 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 darkness can't create they can't anything create. they it can only it can only mimic so they'll steal your stories they'll start to act like you they could they mirror you completely and sometimes they don't they're, they're not even aware they're doing it it's the only way they know how to it's like a child right like a little toddler mimics its parents to understand its place in the world but as it, you grow up you get a sense of self so you don't have to mimic anymore you can learn from people and adapt certain behaviors through choice but to completely mimic people is an organic portal personality trait but again yes the higher you ascend the more you ascend the more organic portals and narcissists and stuff are going to come into your life. It's like a, a flaw a, a moth to the flame. Right. Yeah. So, all right, take it away, Nicole. Where do you want to go from here, girl? Okay. So uh, I looked at the pre Adamic Adamic races. It's actually mentioned a lot, but not in that term on like ancient aliens and history channel. And the Sumerian text reflects the, pre-Adamic races um, and they that they are the ones that first had transcription of what was occurring historically um, and so they're they are controlled by off-world or negative AI okay and so I know that there's a, a certain you know group of people that that um, are familiar with some of our our community and they speak of the off-worlder negative AI as being the antichrist. And I have to pull that in and pull that together. So the off world or negative AI has been around for millions and millions of years. It has been something that they, um, as a means of operation throughout multiple galaxies, multiple galaxies. We, in our universe, there's well there's many many universes there's 144 and a half universes that i'm aware of and there's many more that none, we don't even know about yet and so when you think about the magnitude of space there has to be um a dark and a light right because that is just the nature of things okay when we ascend we ascend to positive polarity because we learn those lessons and we go into unity consciousness and Christ consciousness and all of that. But we come that way through amnesia so that we don't remember all the other uh, building blocks that they put to stop our, our ascension, to stop our growth. And some of the building blocks put in place are these organic portals. So uh, many, many times, they are already attracted to you because that is their, if you think about them, they're like organic matter and they're like pre-programmed to follow a certain script in life. And they're allowed, um, they're allowed to pick up habits and they're allowed to pick up tendencies and that kind of stuff. And like, so their evolution is very uh, on the micro, mm -hmm. um, but they can only grow to a certain level. They're only allowed to mature to a certain level. And so as you go through your life, you will probably be able to, for me, I was able to go back and think about some of the people that were really attracted to me that I didn't really have the same reciprocal feeling for. Um, and I, they kind of love bombed me, you know, but, but I didn't get a good feeling around them. And that was the case. Like they were attracted to what I provided them in their life. But it wasn't like I was getting anything from them. And I call those 
we call there's a term for that and they are draining persons and um energy vampires yeah. and that is that is their role it's just to um take 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 through every every light being that they encounter and so this is very very common so when you think about it in terms of that it helps you for me anyway it helps me um, reconcile while some people did certain things in my life because to consider uh, sold s o u l e d. I know. I person, feel like we have to spell that every time. So people, I know. I know. <laughs> to consider that a fully intact soul and consciousness did horrible things to me in my life is a harder concept for me to reconcile than someone who has a very limited capacity. For um, for consciousness and for emotion and and growth because it's more understandable, you know. So, um, yeah. Can we pause on the pre-Adamic or pre-Adamite hypothesis because uh, this was very fascinating to me. So again, I want to reiterate that organic portals, even though they are tiny souls, they're not old souls. They've been around on this plane of existence for a very long time. It's the theological belief that humans or intelligent yet non-human creatures, ding, 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 existed before the biblical character Adam. Um, now, I have my own beliefs on Adam and Eve, but the Cassiopeians, and again, we'll get into this more tomorrow, if we look at the fall of Atlantis, and so what was Atlantis? The Anunnaki came to this earth, uh, good and bad, and started to procreate with beings that were here. So we as human beings are a cluster of all these different galactic races. Pre-Adamic beings though, however, were never interbred with the galactics. If that's how I kind of understand it. But what the Cassiopeian said is that they were used as the vessel to lure these positive extraterrestrials to planet earth and they are still used they cause they're the vessel that is triggered to cause these falls like the fall of atlantis because in and, and, and organic portals what look i love how nicole is saying that like organic portals will come into your life and they will wreak havoc whereas a psychopath knows the havoc that they're wreaking they know they're hurting you and they get off on it. They love it. Organic portals are clueless. They are absolutely, completely clueless that they are being used by a fourth density negative being. Almost like I kind of see it as like a remote control car. Yeah, it's like that Oculus, you know, VR uh, type reality almost where mm -hmm. there's really ultra high level negative AI that just like I get a spiritual download, we can, if you're um, a negative polarity, you can get your downloads that way too. Yeah. And um, they are literally being manipulated from their upper level hierarchy and the negative AI. Yeah. Now, um, before I want to go ahead and answer this question too, before it gets asked or before we get to mention it, are these people going to ascend? No, they can't. Impossible. Impossible. Um, and uh, I want to, before we go, I just kind of want to make sure we cover the important parts before we elaborate. Now, uh, I know I'm not a big uh, movie buff as far as like, uh, what what is it? Animated. What's it called? The Avengers? Yeah. yeah. They talk about it in The Avengers. Are you Do we want to talk about that for a little bit? Where yeah. they kind of, because we know they tell us the truth in movies, right? <laughs> like, yeah, well, I heard that um, the Marvel's movies were basically documentaries, and there's a lot of truth in them. And so as I watch them, I watched everything that is available. And as I watch it, I'm, I'm just, things will hit me. I'll get a download, and I ask my higher self, is this, this really exist? Is this a real thing? And I get a lot of yeses, like a lot of yeses. And whenever I watched Avengers Endgame, and Thanos' um, plan to save humanity for, this is going to sound a lot like everyone in this 
this culture understands this relationship to someone else I mentioned. So his plan to save humanity is to basically reduce humanity by 50% in the snap of the finger, but he has to have all the infinity stones to do it. So he goes around scooping up all the infinity stones. So he has the power to decrease the population by 50%. And his theory is that that gives the world the ability to feed the ones that are left for the ones that are left to have an easy, easier life they don't have to be live in crowded cities and all this kind of stuff so i mean in my mind that sounds like bill gates who yep. i'm pretty sure is an organic portal yep and so what's the name of the so what do they call the organic portals in avengers they have a name for them right non what are they called non or is it oh, a different it's not really in avengers it's just a generic term that comes from video games with npcs NPCs and non-player character, non-player character. So like whenever you see um, the image of like a sporting event and you see all these fake fans in the stand, those are non-player characters just to fill up the screen and make it look active. And I've um, heard that that is one of the biggest examples we can use of organic portals. They're non-player characters. They don't have a higher self. They don't have a soul contract. They're just kind of, they're being controlled. So you can say they do have a dharma because they, they were put here by the negative entities to try to derail. And the reason why they go for higher light beings is, and this is the law of one, if you are a, a, a being of the light and you are high vibrational, so many organic portals will be attracted to you because they're being sent to you by a higher dark being because if they can turn you negative, you're like, the gold you're the gold i mean you are yeah. like you are just you yeah. you it, it amps their power up even more because they you level are, up yeah, yeah they level up in their own hierarchy they level up that way it, it makes me think of that laura fay uh reading yeah. the other day about twin flames and the sabotage yeah you know oh, yeah. how how they're they're there um for <laughs> to keep to keep you know us I, from but I do want to say that while this can be super heavy and it's like, oh shit, you know, factor, I want to say that out of all the efforts that the darkness has gone through to keep us small and keep us figuring out who we are and what our power is and the ability to bring all of our gifts and abilities together, um, they fucking failed. Okay. Yeah. We are absolutely winning and that makes us the most powerful beings in the universe because number one we have free will number two we also have the ascension of our consciousness and very very few have both yeah in the universe and that's what makes us so special so that's why they have really people say well, well how can this be like why would so many different factions work against this because if we and when we let me take that back. When we take our position for New Earth, there is no place for them. They have officially lost on every level, on every front, on every battle that they have ever tried to wage. And this has been going on for a millennia. Yeah. Now, so I want to say, say, too, because I want to get in like to personality traits. Like, I have had a ton of organic portals in my life. I just got rid of one organic portal. And the, the reason why I know this person was an organic portal, because when I saw it, I couldn't unsee it. And when I cut that, I was like, oh, and I literally just moved on. There was no, there was no sadness. There was no second guessing. There was no, I sought for what it was. And I was like, oh, this is why you copy me. This is why. So organic portals are not able to talk to source. They're talking to negative AI when they right. channel. Right. And um, and now, with that being said, I do want to say this. There are a lot of organic portals in the truther community. Mm -hmm. A lot. Confirm. Confirm. They're being used, though. So let me get to the heart before we move on to just to make sure I'm covering all dotting all my eyes, crossing all my T's. Again, guys, we're still learning about this too. And we're putting out what we know. So this could be an open conversation with you guys as well. In the comment section, you can add your thoughts and your experiences too. Um, I know Angie has some experiences as well with organic portals. Organic portals though, 
So when we as totally ascend, 50% of the human population will not be coming with us 100% because they're organic portals. They will basically just dissolve. Their matter will dissolve. That doesn't mean that their soul dissolves. Their soul will go back to another third density planet, whether to be an organic portal again. That's up to them in this sense. So according to the Cassiopeians, organic portals do have the opportunity to start to develop self-awareness if they choose to but they can't do it in just one life so if there's an organic portal in your life obviously if they're hurting you you need to put boundaries up and remove the situation but by seeing you have self-awareness by seeing you have depth of understanding that will rub off on them they become enveloped by that and so over evolution of the soul they will eventually grow those upper chakras to become an independent souled s-o-u-l-e-d grounded souled being it could take many thousands of lifetimes though all right these organic portals have been around on this plane a lot longer than a lot of us have and it's and again remember guys there is no end of time like there is no time is eternal so god's like take your time figure it out take your time you yeah. know um and so and so it's not your job to have pity on them i mean don't be an asshole but it's not your job they don't know how to be a human being every everything they do is mimicking right they mimic emotion right. they mimic you have you ever had somebody ladies i'll ask you this have you ever had somebody in your life that mimicked you an adult in your life that started mimicking you to the point that it was weird yes that every time you said something happened to you or they're like, oh, me too, me too, me too. Yes. yes. And, and they would take your story, take your energy. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden they were mimicking your belief system to a T. Yes. And then all of a sudden they started to derail things, but you couldn't figure it out right away because they're not even aware they're doing it. Yeah. And, you know, it. Um, we always heard that um, the ending is not for everyone. Well, that, that meaning has evolved for me over time. And this is definitely um, where I'm at to reconcile that the ending is not for everyone because number one, um, true unity consciousness is that you have endless compassion and empathy and kindness for your brothers and sisters. But that comes with understanding that not everyone is your brother and your sister. Just because they're walking around it does not mean that you are cut actually of the same cloth. And I know that's like a big aha moment for many, many people. But it's talked about in Greek writings and Judeo um, writings. It's It's been known by multiple, multiple cultures forever. Okay, so it's real for me. Like I said, it, it brings me comfort because there was a, you know, I'm an empath and I, and I, I hate it to think about out all these souls who just because they didn't know what they didn't know was not going to ascend well it's deeper than that yeah because that's not the group of people that this is that, that phrase actually means in my opinion i think that that actually means the ending the good ending is really truly not for everyone that's walking around i would say so let's say let's do the math quickly 50 percent of the human population are non what it called non-player characters yeah non player NPC. characters they're just yeah. organic portals so that you take 50 percent off now within the 50 percent of us that's left there's a certain percent that's that's negative that have chosen to they're they're fully aware so that's what i'm saying guys just because someone's a psychopath does not mean they are an organic portal a psychopath who isn't an organic portal has made the decision the free will decision. they have a soul contract too but it's for the dark side <laughs> yeah. right um so small percentage there that are definitely going negative because they made that choice and then a small percentage left of the sold humans who aren't ready to graduate yet so they have to leave too to go to a different planet just for their own evolution different from the organic portals yeah how many what's the percentage do you got ladies think are actually moving forward to the next timeline well 
I don't know if I can actually put a percentage on it. I really do think it's it's kind of changing all the time. I know that I feel comfortable in saying that there's like about 1.5 million um, light workers, Darcy, like that group, 1.5 million. That are for and, sure. Oh, came, and, came to this yes. earth already kind of ascended, already yes. ready to go. Like, like, and so then you multiply out because each 1.5 million is going to have a positive effect on their fellow light beings around them, you know? So even if it's just that one person in the family, but their family are really, you know, of the light and pure heart and all those things, they'll kind of follow suit. And so I just don't think it's as big of a number as people really recognize. No. And that's okay. But I also think that people that feel like they came here for a reason, like yeah. you have that, that, that inner you, knowing yeah, yeah. from from childhood, you know, like I know that but I was that way. So I feel like anybody watching, if you, if you have that feeling, because I can tell you somebody that I'm dealing with in my personal life, never had that feeling, doesn't have that feeling, right, you know, right. so I'm seeing like, you know, I can just see the differences there and just with friends of mine and my own children, um, you know, so if you feel like you have, a bigger purpose, a mean, like a meaning, like you came here for a reason and you just right. have that. It's a calling. You. It's a calling no matter what direction you go in or what job you're doing or who's surrounding you. This is a calling that you feel kind of this nagging feeling in your soul that doesn't go away. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to make it very clear, you guys, to know people, if you're upset by this information, because we're saying not many, as many people as we think are going to move forward that's your attachment so you have to remember that source creator time is eternal and source creator doesn't care how long it takes you so for the organic portals they're not just disappearing they're going to go back to another third density planet they're going to keep reliving third density until they take that responsibility to start figuring out self-awareness for the people who are close to graduating but are not quite ready yet we don't force them that's not what we do on the side of good. We don't force people to move into fourth density positive if that's not what they want to do. If their soul wants to live out a few more lives in third density to really ground itself, then we have to let them go. If you're upset by that, that is a you problem. That is and I, will, I will say too, the best thing you can do for anybody is work on yourself. Yeah. Work even, on yourself. Even if you have no idea really what's happening with your like your core family work on yourself because the more that you heal your own soul those souls that are attached to you will inevitably also get a positive effect yeah. whether they're whether they're actively aligning to do that or not it just happened and i will tell you from my own experience my own core family i was the only one and i cut that i cut the cord and healed the attachment because i accepted it for what it was i wasn't going to let that hold me back and Source decided for me that my family deserved another chance. And he took that on his own mission. And that's all of them now are ascending. I didn't have any real thing to do with it, in my opinion, because I cut it and I healed it to move on. Yeah. But my service to my own healthy boundary and my self love is what I was rewarded with was my family. Does that make sense? Yes. So instead of giving everything to other people all the time, because that's what we have been told we're supposed to do. If you truly honor yourself as a person that deserves love and deserves good things and deserves uh, to ascend the, the new earth life and believe that embody it. And no matter what happens, you hold that sacred you are rewarded for that because those are the people that need to lead in new earth. And because you are not going to sacrifice yourself for everyone. I mean, if we all had that mentality, we would have felt a long time ago. You yeah. See, there always has to be people willing to take the, the harder path for the greater good. And that was the way I was. And so, and, and I'm not saying it for any reason other than as an example, I literally accepted the fact that I would be the only person from my core family to move forward, but that my soul family was going to be with me. And that was my solace. And I did it for the greater good. And then source is like, but you acted appropriately and your family will come along too, you know? So 
it's not as black and white as you no. want to make it out. And I want to make it a point that if you are looking for your happiness and your peace outside of yourself, as in you're only going to be happy if this person ascends with you, then you're nowhere near ascension either because it ha you have to be, you can't be attached. And how dare us, how dare us project our own journey onto somebody else? Like how dare us do that? That's, that's selfish. That's service to self. You have to be able to understand and, and and not be attached and back away and let people go on that that journey because you don't the Hathors talk about this in the Hathor material. Mm -hmm. You don't know what that person agreed to with God before taking this. They might have made the agreement that they weren't going to graduate this life and you're trying to force them because you're of your selfishness. Like you have to just work on yourself and be okay within yourself. And so Angie, what do you what do you know about these organic portals? <laughs> Well, I got to be a little careful, <laughs> but I do know like my best friend that I spend a lot of, you know, a lot of time with my crazy fun friend, Deborah. I mean, she can pick them out, you know, she's always just like, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't feel good right there. I didn't feel good right there. I have so many pictures now of, of people on the sidewalk, just people that we've run into at a restaurant or school anywhere you know and she's like they're not even they're not there they're not even there um yeah we've been around a, a group of women before that were just sitting at a table right next to us and it's like and you hear them chattering and they're talking about like who's cheating on who and and who got a new car and and oh yeah you know all the all the things all the things and it just sounds so it's the ego lost <laughs> and you know we're sitting there going they don't even like see us we are like right here living this beautiful like having a beautiful moment like and trying to enjoy um sitting right here on the water at the lake <laughs> but they're like crowding up the space they're crowding up the the they're taking they're they're infiltrating the beauty that that we were immersed in right there they infiltrated it we had to go move like we're like we can't even sit here anymore we can't stand to listen to that anymore it's just so um like a shallow loss yeah, and that behavior is it all it does is it generates low vibrational energy mm -hmm. and, and so and they, they and they feed yeah they just feed that's off of each other because that's all they can generate is low vibrational energy they don't have that so that's why they get the lower ones now yeah uh, they were talking about yoga too but you know they all go to their yoga they, they, they all they yeah. now this is the thing most organic portals don't know they're organic portals mm -hmm. they're kind of unaware because they don't have self-awareness so they don't even know their organic portals and um and so i want to talk about the ego for a second because what is the ego the ego is the false sense of self yeah. if you have self-awareness you will not be you will be able to to put your ego in its place like it doesn't go away it's always going to be there and you might have slip ups but someone who is self-aware understands their ego and what it is and can acknowledge it organic portals on the other hand it, it goes over their head they cannot separate They're, all they have is the ego they yeah. don't have a deeper sense of self they don't have a soul contract they don't have a higher self so they get very, the last organic portal i dealt with was very confused by this like really struggled with this concept and it was part of my teaching with this person with yoga and i could tell she was very like, this was just very hard for her to grasp and now that i know she's an organic portal i'm like oh because that's all you here is your ego so yeah. nicole do you want to go talk about that too because i know we've talked about that as well off offline yeah um for anyone really being guided led throughout life by your ego it's it you can't fathom um you know not having that car or that label that title or um, like it's like me 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 it's yes. It's about me, yes. it's about me, me too, me too, me too, me too. Yeah. Yes, yes. And you you want to be surrounded by people, but it's not because you want to genuinely be with them. You'll ask questions not because you want to genuinely know. You want to know because you want to one-up them. 
you know, you want, I call those the, the hoovers of your life, the energy vampires, you know, they'll take everything you're willing to give them. And then they want more and they want more. And that they're, that at the end of the day, people that are guided by their ego, we've all seen them. They have all the things. They have all the things. But if they sat there and told you, if you ask them, who is your most genuine friend? They couldn't name anybody. They couldn't even define genuine, first of all. They don't know what authenticity is. They could, they would, the conversation just goes back to more things, more stuff, more material things. But, and so though that's how they define life and that's how they define themselves and that's how they define abundance. So for, as you ascend, I call it an ego death. Does your ego really die? No, but it gets so pushed out of the way, you put it in check. That ego no longer guides you and controls all your decisions that you make. And so you no longer feel like you have to justify who you are in terms of people, places, and things. Those things don't even matter. You're not attached to your story. It's because you have a sense yes. of self. So you're yes. able like the last one I was dealing with was so addicted to the story, her story. And I would be like, it doesn't matter. The story's just the drama. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. It's just, a uh, that's, that's not, but, but if you don't have a sense of self, if you can settle into yourself, if you can go within yourself and settle into that inner knowing that peace, then you're not an organic portal. But if you right. are an organic portal and you don't have that inner knowing, you don't have that sense of self or that higher self, the only thing you have is the external identity. The yeah. only thing you have is your identity of who you are, right? And so, and so we see that, you know, even for organic portals who aren't, aren't wealthy, they try to puff their chest a lot. I'm the best. I, I'm the best. I don't need to do what you've done because I'm the best. It's very, very stuck. But that's all they know. That's where their value comes from. My value does not come from, as a human being, my value does not come from what I've done as Bryce. My value comes from a deeper knowing that, that goes beyond Bryce. And that's why I say the story doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter right. when you're working on yourself. you got to take that away. The story is just the macro, you know. And so, and so if you are... You know, I don't think anybody should go around pointing fingers at people going, you're an organic portal. You know, like that's not, you know, like. It might not end very well. <laughs> no. And, and we don't know for sure. Sometimes people are just assholes, right? Sometimes like, you know, but if, and that, so therefore you, if you are watching this and you're going, oh my God, I think such and such in my life might be this. You have to value, you have to weigh that value. Like, is that relationship bringing you value? Or is it, her, do you feel like you're walking on eggshells? Do you feel like you're being taken advantage of? Do you feel like you're being mimicked? Do you feel like you have to like constantly placate that person? In the relationship based on those qualities of it being toxic for you. You know, right. organic portals are toxic. And it's interesting. I know Nicole, Nicole and I talked about this. And there are rare occasions where a sold, S-O-U-L-E-D, sold person will be born into a family of organic portals or maybe organic portals teetering on the idea of self-awareness. But most of the time, generally speaking, organic portals are born into a family of organic portals. Yeah. <laughs> And what do you so, want to add there? What do you want to add there, Anne? What do you want to tell us? She's like, I know about this girl. Let me tell I, you. Sit I right know now. about it. I, I can just say there's a whole family, I mean, that I feel like I am now attached to that are, you know, quite possibly organic portals. I have never, you know, been accepted. They don't, you know, uh, anything that I try to do of the light you know, I've always, um, I always have said, like, even um, about my business, I really, we can, we can promote my business, Fickles, if you want to, but I really don't care. <laughs> because I've always said that it's more than that. 
I didn't, I, you know, I didn't come here to be a pickle maker. Well, I came here to your business is because you are more than that. You're, <laughs> I think of you as reference Angie and you just happen to make pickles. Like I don't right. think it's really your business. But so there have been so many times when um, I've run into people um, and not to toot my own horn or anything, but I've run into people just randomly on, on the sidewalk, you know, downtown Athens. And they're like, Oh, Oh, and, and you start crying and, and, and give me a hug and tell me that, you know, I've helped them so much. And then I've had a certain person in my life get, get very jealous of that five minutes that I spent talking to that person on the sidewalk. And I'm yeah. like, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what actually fills your cup, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I know. And, th and they're oblivious right? They're oblivious oh, yeah. of that feeling because they don't have the capacity to feel it. I know one of my exes and I, I was going through um, um, cancer treatment. Of course, I was bald. I had no hair anywhere, whatever. Mm -hmm. And 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 he was bald, but not because he was going through cancer treatment. And um, someone said, oh, Nicole, your head is so perfectly shaped and you, I want you to feel comfortable to like walk around bald. You don't have to cover your head. And he literally jumped in front of me and said, well, how's my head? What about my head? And I was like, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. That's what the last organic portal I was dealing with would do to me on a daily basis. <laughs> it reminds me of that cartoon, the little dog that keeps jumping up, you know, like, hey, Sal, hey, Sal, yeah. hey, Sal, what about me? What about me? This yeah. is not quite the same thing, but maybe because it's, it's, in that family, um, when my son was a little baby toddling around, you know, he's walking around, you know, trying to hold himself up. I remember her saying, this person saying, she goes, oh, look, he has a flat head just like his mama. <laughs> From a, that sounds so like, southern. <laughs> yeah. The same person like sat me down for an hour you know, and told me that I needed to, that why don't I laugh with her, that she sees me laughing with others, that, um, what is, you know, why can't I be, be relaxed and all around her? Like, you know, not to try to be real popular. I didn't need to be in all the clubs. And I'm like, I'm not ever trying to be in a club. I'm kind of my own club. Like, <laughs> They will do that. They they're the best at projecting because they're the ego. Uh -huh. They don't, they can't do shadow work. They can't yeah. do shadow. Uh -huh. They can pretend. They can mimic. They're doing it, but they really can't do it. So they project yeah. because they don't they don't have a sense of self to fall back into. They don't have that sense. Of, I know. And what am I talking about again with the sense of self? I you can be proud of your accomplishments that you've done in this life. I'm proud that I'm authorized. That I'm only female authorized. I've worked hard for that, but that's not who I am as a person. It's something I accomplish. Right. Does that make sense? Like it's a way and, and so we can work within the matrix of things that we have to do, jobs we have to do, but not but understanding and be proud of that work, but also understanding that doesn't define us. Right. Right? When I'm in my deathbed, I'm gonna be worried about are my nephew and nieces taken care of? Are they good? Um, making sure they know I love them. I'm not going to be worried about the authorization I achieved. Like that was just something in the process of getting that was a shit ton of shadow work that yeah. made me more stronger in my own sense of self, you know? So if anybody finds themselves doing this, like um, internal <laughs> inventory of the people that are in your world, again, the best thing to do is to do that inventory of yourself you know for yourself because um it really will trigger in you what you really need to work on and while you work on yourself your sense of self your deserving belief of success all of that will grow exponentially and it will bolster your ability to maintain that i call it the unapologetic boundary because once you work hard to improve your own situation then all that other stuff can't come close to you. It just cannot compare with the vessel that you have built yourself into because you had a good, strong foundation and you went within and source creator, your higher self has helped you determine exactly who and what you are. And it is so much more than anything they will ever have, period. It's in such a process. I mean, I've just now, 
you know, I'll be 50 this year. I have just now, probably in the last year, been able to just say, I don't care. <laughs> right. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I, I, I have to, I have to work on myself because caring about what they think of me too much or what, what I'm assuming they think of me, what they're trying to make me think they think of me is hindering me from becoming. Yes. Well, but that's the matrix game, right? So they keep you in shame, blame, pain, guilt, you know, fear, all of that, because that's low vibrational energy. And you'll yeah, just that's the low vibrational energy is all that a organic portal can feel. Right. And so they want to keep you on that loop of ne of negativity. So you can't ever realize who you are and spur off on your own and be successful. And they can't in this life, if an organic portal is an organic portal in this life, they're not going to change. And it's not your responsibility to change them. Right. It's not your, that's your shadow to realize that. That's yeah. part of your shadow work to realize that you do not have the opportunity, you do not have the ability, you do not have that to go change everybody else's contract or, or their purpose. They are actually programmed to do a certain thing and it's not for you to change it. And it's not for your highest good. No. And so you don't need to be, it's like hitting your head up against a wall to try to change somebody that's an organic portal, you know? So that's a big lesson for us, you know, what, what the devil will use for get bad, God will use for good. That's a lesson for us who want to help people to understand that that's our own need of another person. And we have to walk away. And, you know, you, the only person you can change is yourself. Right. You're the only one that can do your work. Now, how dangerous would it be for someone to go to a divinator who's an organic portal? Someone who reads tarot cards or does I Ching readings or... That's I something know it. And, you know, probably we've all been there. We've, oh, absolutely. We've all been there because I feel like that's going to be a spot where they <laughs> tend to thrive for a yes, moment. Yes, they tend to thrive there. So I wanted to really, uh, so I, and I'm not saying like, guys, there are really great. I mean, I go to really great divinators, you know, but this should help you have a sense of discernment. So if you're going to a divinator, just have a sense of discernment. If something doesn't sit right with you, trust your gut. Because you don't know, especially if it's a, a tip of, it's a divinator, you don't actually know outside of the divinator, like outside of the shop. Like, you know, uh, it's, 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 um, yeah, super important. This is, I wanted to bring that up because this is another reason why you shouldn't be handing your power over. These organic portals are programmed. They don't even know it, but they're programmed for you to hand your power over to them because then mm -hmm. they transfer that power to the fourth density negative being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can go mm -hmm. enjoy these things. I love a guy. I read my own tarot cards. Yeah. But you have to understand that you hold the power. And if yeah. you don't agree with what this person is saying, that's okay. Keep your own understanding. That's the lesson. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so matrixy, right? To make us feel like if we do anything other than try to save the world, we should be shameful for that. That in itself is such a huge obstacle that I see people struggle with. You know, like they they just ignore their own life trajectory and, and literally bombs are going off around them. And they're like, but I have to do so-and-so for my daughter. Or I have to do so-and-so for her husband and my grandchildren and this and that. And I'm like, praise Pete. Can we just work on you? <laughs> Y'all, martyrdom is a negative polarity sacrificing yourself for others is considered service to self it's negative yeah it's another layer of the mind warp that we have to break through because yeah. it's just not true it is just not in your best need service whatever of your soul to constantly do for others because number one you're enabling their bad behavior and they never get to evolve because you're always doing for them. And you're constantly empty. So what are you giving from? Your your vessel is completely empty. You know, so at some point you're going to run out of fuel. And then what? Are they going to be there for you? No, they're not. On a great organic portal, no matter how much you invest into them, they have no feelings towards you. They right. use you because they're programmed to try to derail you, but they have no human feelings for you. So right. when you put a boundary up and, 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 and escort an organic portal out of your life, 
they don't care. No. They're not missing. They just move on to the next person that they're exactly. going to take. Exactly. And that was what was liberating for me in the last situation I was in. I was like, oh, she didn't give a shit. Like, she, I'm, I'm, I was her target. Yeah. And she didn't even know I was her target. Yeah, yeah that's happened to me recently, too. I mean, just um, somebody in an, a, a, another businesswoman in town, you know, that I, I totally see that she used me like to get ahead, to... You know, and she only reaches out to me whenever she really needs me or but it, and that she just acts like she's and it's like a mirror, like you say, like she says exactly what she knows what's going to get me to to, you know, to help her out and to promote her. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's, no, yeah. it's not a surprise to me that that the negative AI helps out their, you know, their beings that are down here. But of course, we don't, we have to work harder for our help. Um, our help is there, but we have to work harder for it because we have to be sovereign and we have to be honest with ourselves. That's where it starts. It's so much easier to just someone tell you what to do and you just do it. But to actually figure out if that's what's best for you, like that's hard to do on many <laughs> levels for a lot of people. I want to expand upon what Nicole just said, because we are in a battle right now. And so why are the organic portals here? Well, I, I want to, I want to, the Cassiopeians and some other channelings that I read never use the word prophecy. They don't use that word. They use the word probability. And that's what we have to remember. Prophecies are not set in stone. And so if we think about them as probabilities, so you could say, oh, it was prophecy for us to send positive no, it's a probability that we're going to. There's still a chance that we could go negative, fourth density negative. And this is a war and all is fair in love and war. And so the fourth density negative beings put all these organic portals on the planet at this time for them like chess pieces to control. And they've got all these light workers, these light beings, all these organic portals around them. And these light workers are trying to help these organic portals. And meanwhile, their life is falling apart. So guess what happens? If we didn't figure this out, guess what would have happened? The light workers are all martyring themselves for this fucking organic portals. And then all of a sudden, we go fourth density negative. Don't martyr yourself. Right. The most healthy relationships that I have, I have all healthy relationships in my life right now. Thank you, God. Um, and not what Angie and Nicole are two people that are also in my private life. And they don't, you girls don't force me to do anything. You don't, you don't, you know, there's no like, why aren't you texting me? You know, like, cause we both know that there's, we're busy. And so if we don't text back for a while. It's going to take a while, you know, like that's a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, Angie and Nicole hold their own channels down with their own stuff. They, they have their own sense of self. My boyfriend at this point, very healthy relationship, right? Very respectful. And that's not saying that more organic portals aren't coming. I know they are coming. I know that because the higher you ascend, the more they're going to come because you just become a bright light in a dark storm and they go, whoop, they, they're, they're programmed to come to you. But the more that I personally, it started off understanding narcissism and I don't even want to, that's a totally different because a narcissist can be an organic portal, but a narcissist can also not be an organic. Like, and this is a, you know, this yeah. is just, yeah. But now that I know about organic portals, that has hit me. That hit me better than the narcissist thing hit me. Cause I was like, Oh, you're just like, I see it as almost like a robot. Like when you're at home, you're like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like you just kind of yeah, like, power, doo -doo -doo -doo. power down, power yeah. down. <laughs> yes. You're not even human. Like literally you're not human. You, you, you're mimicking a human, but you're not human. You're not a sold being. And so you don't feel the things you don't think about the things that you don't see life the way I see it. You don't see inter interactions with people as I see it. And that's the problem. And that's why you can't be. And so I'm prepared for more organic portals to come into my life. I'm totally prepared for it. But now I know what to look for. What are some other traits that we could tell people to look for in with organic portals besides the ego, the mimicking, um, no real sense of self because there can be people without a sense of self that do have a self and they're just lost. But those people who are just lost, 
will have human emotion. They'll, yeah. they'll still feel guilt and shame and feel, you know, bad if they do something wrong, right? So it's a genuine, even though they might be lost themselves and still on their journey, you know. So what else can you ladies tell people to look out for? And well, again, think, don't go around being like, you're organic. Don't, don't name call anybody. Like, that's going to be the new name calling, right? Like, instead of calling someone stupid, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you're an organic portal. <laughs> instead of being an OG, you're going to be an OP. You OP. OP. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you've been around this long and you still haven't evolved, bless your heart. I think the biggest thing um is the lack of emotion the lack of appropriate emotion mm -hmm. because um you know they can fake uh joy happiness they can fake laugh they can you know do that kind of stuff but if you're a genuine authentic person you know that they don't they don't really cry real tears they don't really have the that real heartfelt emotion in anything you know and and i think that's a huge, huge clue because there's a lot of people that are like, I just don't cry or, um, you know, I just don't have bad days like that. Or I just don't like stuff get me down or whatever, but that's just not normal. You know, we're made to experience the world and it's not always rainbows and butterflies, you know, and sometimes <laughs> depending on the rainbow, it might make me cry. I don't know, <laughs> but that, I think that's a real authentic, genuine thing that they have a very hard time faking pulling off successfully and so that to me is for for the ones that have been in my life that was the biggest like aha for me i'm like they are like all the time yeah yeah i have um a, a, a ex-friend i think i've told this story somewhere before about walking on the path in my yard you know in the woods with, yeah. with this person yeah and um i have this owl <laughs> Yeah, that, that follows me. And on this particular day, um, and me and this friend were having a great time, you know, great conversation, as long as everything was like fun. And we're talking about music and, and his, you know, accomplishments, <laughs> and all, all of his stories. Um, everything was fun and fine and everything. We're walking along the path and the owl was just sitting right on a branch. Like, I mean, I could have jumped up and touched it like that close. That's very odd. That's not something that normally owls do. And so about 10 minutes later, we're back in the house and something came on on the television and it was about Ukraine. You know, this has been a while. This has been like a year ago. And, um, and I, I said, oh, you know, they're all going to be okay. So I'm just always, you know, I'm like, we're not watching that, you know, like whatever, everything, everything, everything is going like it should don't, you know, let's not get into that. And this person grabbed both of my arms and shook me and left bruises on my arms. And, um, mm -hmm. and then about that time, my husband and Bert, um, his friend were driving up from golf. And I said, Oh, look, the boys are here. Bye. And, and that's, you know, then I see him every now and then around town. And he stays really far away from me. I've told him what he did. He never has apologized. Mm -hmm. He tells me I need to work on my energy. <laughs> well, so they he can suck more off of you. <laughs> yeah, and they learn. They learn. They learn. They learn, they learn trigger trigger words like that. Like they learn energy. The energy to, word. They learn how to mimic that because uh -huh. yeah. I talk about energy a lot. And so, yeah. So he yeah. says you need to work on your energy, like. And, and the truth so, is, our energy will either attract them to us or deflect them away. It yeah, he can't get near of, me anymore. Yeah, and, and this is somebody I, I've done a whole lot for, and yeah, he can't even. I mean, he won't come near me. Yeah, and I, the emotion thing is a big one too. Like, but when you, your your spidey senses know, like when someone's like faking emotion, mm -hmm. or like really emotional, like you. And you know when someone's upset because there's generally some pain they're feeling or they're upset because their ego has been bruised, which is what a genuine emotion an organic portal can feel is upset because their ego has been bruised. That's right. about it. So I feel like I feel like that, that is more of an undertow of frustration, anger, resentment, like that kind of stuff, that low vibrational stuff. They're capable of that. But, you know, to feel... Um, 
to have their feelings hurt like a child has their feelings hurt and they're like crushed and they're crying like that is impossible right yeah and so again i'm going to reiterate this guys just because i know most of our viewers are totally smart intelligent grounded people please though as we talk about this don't go around calling people organic portals in your head you can maybe think maybe that person but the best gauge is how are they affecting you and what is your gut telling you about this person and and are they there and if it's a if it's a toxic relationship you're going to know if it's a toxic relationship mm -hmm. sometimes we lie to ourselves we don't want to hurt somebody's feelings but with an organic portal there are no feelings to hurt so mm -hmm. so you know just do what's best for you to protect yourself <laughs> um you know if you are one of the lucky ones a light light worker who was born into a family of organic portals bless your heart i don't know how you do that but you sure picked a credible soul contract <laughs> to, to go yeah. through that somebody and, could make a whole lot of money writing a book the organic portals of america <laughs> it's like from George. volume don't one. do it don't do it listen <laughs> listen it volume two <laughs> it might be kind of boring though because basically they just go around and fuck with people's lives and they don't even know it like they chapter, don't even know it <laughs> chapter two same as chapter one yeah. different avatar <laughs> different avatar but yeah it's, it's just a different body it's just a different costume so um so ladies we're about at an hour now part two will be releasing on monday with a mystery guest again the guest that's coming on he's not a mystery to me but he is a pretty big uh business owner here in Atlanta. So we have to keep his identity and his name hidden. Um, but he is uh, the one, Nicole, I, well, Angie and Nicole both know him. Um, and Nicole, you kind of were hearing the conversations, uh, kind of took part in some of that conversations where he's he's looking at the organic portals strictly from the um, Cassiopeians and the, what they, and, that, and it gets very, I mean, listen, Nicole and I were like on the phone the other night prepping for this, talking to him. We were like, hold on. <laughs> Boss. then we go talk to ourselves like i don't understand you understand it's like hold on hold up hold up so we tried to make we there's a lot more we could have actually said in this episode but we're trying to keep it very watered down for part one because not for you guys but for us because we're still trying to go like all right let's connect the dots here holy <laughs> shit you mean all these people i thought were that i thought were just narcissists in my life were actually organic portals and they feel nothing like nothing. what mm -hmm. you know but so and and congratulations for those of you who now know you're not crazy like you're not crazy yeah like i said when no learning this for me was a comfort you know because uh, it's it's easier to explain uh what they're doing while they're while they're doing it because they don't feel they don't have an emotion attached to it so you know there's all this chaos around them and they're just like doo -doo -doo. Yeah, they just don't even know. They're like, yeah. So uh, so the points to remember for part one, 50% of the human population is an organic portal. They do not have their upper four chakras. They are not new souls. They are very old souls. They're just micro souls. And because they don't have their upper four chakras, they don't know how to be human. They will not ascend. End of story. And that's not a bad thing. They're, they, you could not put an organic portal in a fourth density positive planet. They would combust right so it would be that would be bad for them so they but they that doesn't mean that they're not loved by god that doesn't mean it just means it's going to take a little bit of time they're pre-adamic meaning that they were on this earth before the anunnaki got here they lured the anunnaki into creating atlantis and then destroying it they're also the vessels that's what we're saying with the war the vessel that's trying to lure us in us light workers in to try to destroy us but they don't know they're doing it they're being controlled by a fourth density negative being they are not necessarily psychopaths or narcissists, but narcissists and psychopaths can be organic portals. It's that's where it gets very complicated. All right. Um, and so basically, again, at the end of the day, you do what's good for you in your private life. If there is somebody in your life, organic portal or not, who is toxic, you're not here to be their savior. They got to save themselves. Right. All right. Anything else you got, ladies want to end on for today? That was a good wrap up. That was a lot that we covered. Yeah. I just hope everybody's okay with coming to my therapy session every week. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, we're therapying each other. Like, like, I mean, I'm telling you guys, this has been, I've been looking at the organic portal thing now for a few weeks and I've been like, why? Have, wh I mean, just the fact, 
as a yoga teacher, just the fact that 50% of the fucking population doesn't have the upper four chakras. I wish I had known that <laughs> 10 years ago. Maybe there's some students I wouldn't work so hard on, you know, like there, right. was, there was nothing there to therapy. Right. So, so, you know, this is, and that's why I was like, we're not experts guys. We are just researchers or we're just human beings that are like, we discovered something that we felt like we needed to draw people's attention to. As I've said on my channel, especially, um, this is an open conversation. I, I That's why I started my YouTube channel was to be able to talk to a bunch of people. So join in in the conversation down in the comment section below. Please don't name drop anybody you think that's an organic portal. Please, if there are any abusive comments or if there are any comments with a name on it, I will delete that comment. Uh, because we we don't want to be that person like we're, we're looking at this as a general topic that people need to understand so and if you have any any more questions um i will again be filming uh for monday with an, another person and then of course of course we can always do a part three as well um as we learn more and dive deeper into this so all right my lovely souls ladies s-u-l-e-d not s-o-l-d we very need to clarify that S O U. <laughs> LED, my sold ladies. <laughs> That's our next T-shirt. S O U L E D, not not S O L D. <laughs> I'm sold, but I'm not sold. Right. right? Oh, I like that. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to sell out because I'm already sold. That's my next right. business. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I'm going to make a T-shirt for that. We're going to trademark that real quick. <laughs> Uh, all right oh ladies God. and everybody watching have a wonderful evening and again don't let us as, as one of those reality stars says once i love my reality tv don't let anyone steal your sparkle because they could be an organic portal so right. don't let anyone steal your sparkle you just go sparkling away being the beautiful beautiful person you are and know you can't help everyone they have to help themselves we love you guys bye everybody bye